Okay guys, so what we're going to do now is we're going to create um, just a simple ammo system. So we'll have a set amount of ammo. It will reduce um, as we fire. When it gets to zero, we won't be able to fire anymore. And we'll be able to pick up objects which will add to our ammo count. Okay, so I've just got the basic first person template here. But of course you can add this to any um, project that's using the first person template. Um, or started off with the first person template. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go to the first person character blueprint. Here we go. Um, and within this, you've got a whole bunch of stuff that's created within that template and you've got the area called spawn projectile. All right, so we've got our input action fire and then it causes everything to happen. So um, what we need first is a new variable, which I'm going to call ammo. Okay. And I don't want it to be a boolean I'm going to make it an integer which is just going to be whole numbers because you're not going to want you know 1.2 ammo or anything like that so integer compile it so that we can change the default value and I'm just going to start with 10 okay so my game will begin and my character will have 10 ammo to start with but obviously you can adjust that how you need okay so now, now we need to set up something that's going to cause this ammo to reduce so I'm going to drag this into here and I'm going to say set ammo. All right. Um, I am going to modify this slightly later, but just so we'll start with this. So when it's pressed, it's going to set my ammo to type an integer, integer minus integer. Drag another one of these in. Okay, so it's going to set the ammo to minus one of what the current ammo count is. Okay, and um, we can rehook that back up to play the um, animation. What I'm going to also do, um, I'm not in this video setting up the HUD, um, the widget, and everything. Um, you know, hopefully, you know how to do that, or we can do that in another video. So, what I will do though is print a string which is obviously good for testing purposes so it will display whatever the ammo count is um, at any one time so if I just get another reference to the ammo plug that into there that's what that print string will show me all right okay compile so real simple so far we've just made an int uh, a variable um, for the ammo and we've made it count down every time um, that we fire. So let's just test that first of all. Okay, so see in the top left. Going down. But if we go too far down, then it's go, going to go into minus numbers, which we don't want. We want it to hit zero and not be able to fire anymore. So um, what we need to do for that, sorry, is um, slightly change this. So um, I want to, after we've pressed fire I want that to be a condition so I'm going to put in a branch okay and that condition is going to be uh, based on an integer minus uh, equal to or less than sorry so if the ammo so let's get another reference to the ammo and plug it in if the ammo is less than or equal to nothing, then um, so hold on, so we want that to false. Change that to false instead of true. So yeah, if it's equal to or less than nothing, um, uh, <laughs> if it is equal to or less than nothing then yeah, it will, it will stop. So um, <laughs> so it won't be able to continue on. Getting myself modeled up. Um, yeah, there's nothing coming out of true. So it will be like, okay, that's true. Um, it won't be able to continue. There's nothing. If that's false, which means there's more than zero, which means we have some ammo, then it will be able to continue this line on, reducing my ammo and still firing. Make sense? Hopefully, let's compile it. Yeah. So let's test that. So let's push play. So there you go. I've gotten to zero. I can still run around and do stuff, but I can no longer 
sheet. Okay, I'm clicking away and nothing's happening. Okay, so that was simple enough. Now what we want to do is add in something that will add to our ammo. Um, or we could set it to a button, like a reload button. Um, so let's do one thing at a time. So I'm going to add a new blueprint, an actor, and I'm going to call it ammo. Load that up. Obviously, um, this is where you would add in like a static mesh and you would add in your model for whatever your ammo pickup would look like. Um, I don't have that, so I'm just adding just a cube as a placeholder. Um, and what we want to do, so uh, yeah, well, we want to give it a collision box as well. Scale that up so that we can interact with it. Right back to our event graph. Get rid of this stuff. Click on the box, collision, and begin overlap. So what we're going to do is when we begin overlap with that um, box, it's going to, we need to add to the um, variable that we made, our ammo variable, don't we? So we're going to have to cast to the first person character, because that's where that uh, variable is stored. And um, set ammo. So there we go, we can access that now. So we can set that to, uh, so come off ammo there, integer plus integer. Uh, and we want to add, sorry, from here, we need to get the ammo, current ammo amount. Plug that into there. And how much are we going to add? let's say five, whatever for now. That's whatever you want to add to the amount of ammo. Let's compile that. Target, sorry, needs to go back to there. Compile. Okay, so again, real simple. So when we begin overlapping it, it will um, add to our ammo count. Um, and then what we then want it to do is to destroy actor and it will destroy itself. So it won't be there anymore. Right, great. So let's minimize that. Uh, let's chuck one of these ammo boxes into the game. What I'd best do actually is color it something different so that I can distinguish it from the others. So let's just put any old material on there. Let's just make it yellow. That'll do. Right. Let's push play. So, um, okay, so I'm out of ammo. There is my ammo pickup. Let's go over to it. I picked it up. Now I can see I've got five on it. I can keep firing. All right. So I could put a couple of these in as well. And then if I go around and pick those up, a couple of fires, got six left. Pick those up. Okay, and that will obviously count down until I'm back to zero again. So we've added um, an amount of ammo that we start with. Um, we can count that down to zero and it, we won't be able to fire anymore and we can pick up um, ammo to add to our ammo count. Um, let me just uh, just pause just to have a little think about whether there's anything else we can add to this before we finish up. Okay we're back. I knew there was something. Um, I wanted to add um, like a reload button because uh, again, you might just want the, the, the character to have to just reload um, and be able to continue continually fire. So we'll go back to the first person character, I think. Um, I guess just find an empty space. I'm going to uh, right click in the empty space and I'm going to type in keyboard. And then you want to choose whatever button you want to press to reload. It would make sense that we used R. So let's go R, okay? So keyboard entry R, when it's pressed, what's it gonna do? Hopefully we can guess. We can set the amount of ammo to integer plus integer. Oops, get a reference to the amount of ammo 
and how much can it give us? Let's reload back up to 10, shall we? Uh, really, that's it. It's not going to destroy anything afterwards. It's just push a button and give us some more ammo. So let's try that. There you go. Push R. Continue firing. That's great. Um, we could have a condition where we can only do this when um, when we're at zero. Otherwise, we could just keep on cranking up our um, ammo. So let's get a branch in here. Uh, so the condition is integer less than or equal to. Let's just use that reference again. Less than or equal to zero. Okay, so if that is less than or equal to zero, yeah, then then it will add to our count. If it's not less than or equal to zero, it won't do anything. So let's try that. Okay, so shoot. If I push R a few times, yeah, it's not done anything. Get to zero and push R. Reloaded. Okay, great. So again, you know, this is where you could, if you had a reload animation, you could play your reload animation onto here. I don't have one, um, but that's where you would add it. So um, you can see there's this montage play thing. You could just do that. Um, and that's about it, really. Um, that'll do for now, as it's a simple ammo system. Um, we may do another one for some more complex stuff. Um, but again, you know, in terms of adding that to the HUD, you would just create a widget, um, allow it to, to show whatever the this variable is to the screen, and um, yeah, you can go from there. Okay, hopefully that helps. Hopefully that works for you.